This guy made a free painterly effect in Blender, and his developer called it Micro Ghost Painterly Shader. It is a practical Blender material that lets you add a hand-painted look to your models without much hassle. You simply bring in the asset, link the materials, and copy the modifiers from the provided blend file. It works with both EV and Cycles, so you can preview or render your scene with ease. The control panels are neatly organized, which as you can see, offers many options to toggle animations, choose colors, either randomly or manually, in addition to adjusting displacement effects. But just remember that displacement effects only work best when there is enough geometry and you will need proper UVs to enter the projects and to have proper results. Before we continue, let me tell you about Project Dream. Project Dream has a wide range of features that enable you to achieve your artistic vision hassle-free using multiple features like Character Enhancer, Viewport to Image, and Creative Image Upscaler, which can upscale your image up to 8 times its original size. And the powerful thing about Project Dream is that you can grab your viewport from any 3D software like Blender, Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, etc. and turn it into an amazing render at the same time retaining the architecture and composition. This can be used for many things, like inspiration or matte painting. There is also image to image, which can enhance your images, adding more realism to them. Then you have character enhancers to enhance characters' faces, and finally image upscaler to make it pop. I've been playing around with this tool for the last few days, and I am enjoying the results. You can even create animations from your images, and you can do that with the integrated Runaway ML engine. So if you like what you see, and you want to try Project Dream for free, click the link in the description right now. Now back to the video. This artist made a cool animation called Celestial Springs. He made this animation of a beautiful landscape, which I definitely found interesting. This Blender artist made a staircase generator, which is designed to quickly create staircases that can fit in your scene. It automatically calculates the number of steps based on your specified step height or width, which can be very handy, especially if you're working on some architectural projects. The tool uses Blender geometry nodes for real-time adjustments, making it easy to experiment with different designs. You also get a range of presets, including options for spiral staircases with settings that let you tweak specific parameters. However, know that the generator expects a base mesh built with quads rather than angons or triangles, so a bit of preparation might be needed. Craft Reaper is a 3D artist that went through the process of painting a 3D scene of scattered vegetables, which is pretty relaxing to watch, and it makes me wonder if painting in 3D can achieve something close to painting in 2D. This Blender developer made a new add-on called XYZ Mapper, which is a UV mapping tool that helps you adjust your UV layouts directly in the 3D viewport. The add-on employs a geometry node-based modifier, meaning you can tweak the placement, rotation, and scale of your UV maps using interactive gizmos. The good thing it comes with support for various mapping types like box, cylindrical, spherical, and planar, and it gives you flexibility in handling tile textures. It even lets you use vertex groups for more detailed selections if needed. And generally, I believe this is a hands-on approach which makes mapping feel intuitive and efficient, especially when you need quick adjustments without leaving the viewport. The Splinter artist made an animation going through the PlayStation phases, beginning with the good old nostalgic and beloved PS1 to the PS5 we have today. This Blender artist made comic book panels called Virtual Eden. So if you're into comics, Virtual Eden, like in Garden of Heaven, showcases panels of a sad man in a virtual created world. FlexFlow is a new toolkit that expands Blender's motion tracking and geometry features. It introduces a new optical flow tracking system that is designed to be faster and more reliable than Blender's native tracker. Along with tracking, 
It offers quick geometry tools that allow you to generate 3D points or structures directly from your footage. The add-on includes a range of automated buttons to adjust the settings and filter out unreliable trackers and even sort them by solving errors. The good thing is that the UI updates dynamically as you delete, add, or modify or filter trackers, which helps you quickly to see the coverage of trackers and identify any problematic areas. So if you work with motion tracking or you need to create geometry from camera data, this toolkit can streamline the process because it offers an efficient way to clean up your tracking data and integrate 3D elements into your projects. Next, this Blender artist created an infinitely looping animation called Infinite Gold. I'm always down for infinite looping animations because they can be used as nice screensavers or animated wallpapers, in addition to being hypnotizing. And this artist made one of gold cubes with interesting patterns orbiting around golden cubes infinitely. This artist made a cute ad for pizza with a stylized shader, using grease pencil for cheese and Eevee as a render engine. There is also a new add-on called Organic Add-on, which lets you generate neutral, organic forms procedurally. It automates the creation of dynamic structures, making it useful for adding environments or abstract elements without manual modeling. You can control the shape, density, collision, and detail, allowing for adjustments and integration into your scene. The add-on also includes a ready asset pack with pre-made organic structures that you can drop instantly. And these assets cover plant-like forms, abstract shapes, and natural growth patterns, which are fully procedural and customizable. So instead of starting from scratch, you can tweak these assets to fit your project, saving you time while keeping creative flexibility. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video and this new formula, please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.